with NVIDIA's RTX 50 series GPUs on the way, many gamers and creators are wondering if it's worth upgrading from their current RTX 30 series cards. The RTX 5070 Ti is expected to be faster, more efficient, and packed with AI-driven features compared to the RTX 3070 Ti. But is it really a worthwhile upgrade? In this video, we'll look at the expected performance boosts, new architecture, power efficiency, and pricing to help you decide if upgrading makes sense or if the RTX 3070 Ti is still a solid choice. Starting with the configuration, the 5070 Ti is built on NVIDIA's latest Blackwell architecture, which is a big upgrade. It comes with 8,960 CUDA cores and runs at a base clock of 2.3 GHz, which can boost up to 2.45 GHz. Now, when you compare that to the older RTX 3070 Ti, which is based on the Ampere architecture, it has 6,144 CUDA cores, a base clock of 1.575 GHz, and a boost clock of 1.77 GHz. Right off the bat, you can see the 5070 Ti has a noticeable advantage. More cores and faster clock speeds mean you're going to get a noticeable performance boost. When it comes to memory, the 5070 Ti takes it a step further. It comes with a massive 16 GB of GDDR7 memory, with a memory bandwidth of 896.3 GB per second. Meanwhile, the 3070 Ti has only 8 GB of GDDR6X memory and a bandwidth of 608.3 GB per second. This extra memory and increased bandwidth in the 5070 Ti really help with handling high-resolution gaming and demanding tasks, giving you a much smoother experience overall. Let's dive into ray tracing and AI. The 5070 Ti packs a pretty solid punch with 70 ray tracing cores and 280 tensor cores. Compare that to the 3070 Ti, which has 48 RT cores and 192 tensor cores. It means the 5070 Ti is going to give you much better ray tracing performance and is more capable when it comes to handling AI tasks, like DLSS. And speaking of DLSS, the 5070 Ti also supports DLSS 4, which is the latest version of NVIDIA's deep learning tech. That's a huge upgrade for enhancing image quality in games that support it. On the connectivity front, both cards have HDMI and DisplayPort outputs. But the 5070 Ti has a slight edge with HDMI 2.1b and DisplayPort 2.1a. These newer versions allow for higher resolutions and refresh rates, which is perfect for gamers who want the best visual experience. The 3070 Ti, on the other hand, is still rocking with older HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPort 1.4a. The specs we have talked about clearly mention that, in terms of performance, the RTX 5070 Ti will outperform the RTX 3070 Ti. The RTX 5070 Ti offers around 44.35 teraflops in FP32 performance, which is a massive leap compared to the 3070 Ti's 21.75 teraflops. This means the 5070 Ti's will execute demanding games and apps with higher frame rates and smoother performance. But it doesn't stop there. The RTX 5070 Ti also benefits from a more advanced architecture. You've got improved tensor and RT cores, which make a huge difference when it comes to ray tracing and AI tasks. Plus, it supports DLSS 4, which is NVIDIA's latest and greatest deep learning super sampling tech. This can seriously boost your performance and image quality in supported games, giving you a much sharper, smoother experience. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the RTX 5070 Ti does consume a bit more power. It runs at 300 watts, compared to the 3070 Ti's 290 watts. So, if you're upgrading, make sure your power supply can handle that extra demand. So, performance-wise, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5070 Ti offers substantial improvements over the RTX 3070 Ti in terms of architecture, processing power, memory capacity, and AI capabilities. While the RTX 3070 Ti remains a competent option for many users, the RTX 5070 Ti's advancements make it a more advanced choice for high-resolution gaming, professional workloads, 
and AI-driven applications. While it requires slightly more power, the performance gains justifies it. When comparing the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5070 Ti and the RTX 3070 Ti, both are powerful graphics cards, but they have key differences in price and value. The RTX 5070 Ti, which came out in early 2025, costs $749. It's got the latest Blackwell 2.0 architecture and better ray tracing performance. On the other hand, the RTX 3070 Ti launched in mid-2021 for $599, but by late 2024, it dropped to about $499, making it a more affordable option. When it comes to overall value, the RTX 5070 Ti is the clear winner, offering better ray tracing, AI features, and pioneering for demanding tasks. That said, the RTX 3070 Ti still holds up well for 1440p gaming and content creation, especially at its lower price. So, if you're after the finest execution and don't mind spending a bit more, go for the RTX 5070 Ti. But if you're on a budget and still want manageable performance, the RTX 3070 Ti is a great value pick. In summary, the 5070 Ti benefits from advancements in GPU architecture, resulting in better frame rates and smoother gaming experience. However, if you're already using a 3070 Ti, the upgrade may not justify the cost unless you're targeting 4K gaming or radical ray tracing. For most gamers, the 3070 Ti remains a strong contender, but the 5070 Ti is worth considering for those who are not worried about budget and ready to take gaming to the next level.